So today I'm gonna choose happiness. hopefuls how is everybody doing today today is Sunday morning so I'm hoping that you guys are having a wonderful weekend I have my uh, cremated garlic parmesan mushrooms that I made this morning yeah they are delicious I also got my marvel uh, <laughs> coffee going on this morning I've had a horrible morning so far it's put me in a foul mood and I, I was reading in this book that was given to us by one of our Mainville Minion hopefuls. I appreciate this book a whole lot. Sometimes I reread it. But because I woke up two horrible dreams, all my appliances were crashing this morning. I was cleaning and doing dishes first thing this morning and I'm like, mm -hmm. As I'm reading in this book, it says, today I choose happiness. It just so happens to choose uh, turn to that page. So today, I'm going to choose happiness. And I hope that you guys choose happiness as well. It says, the circumstances of my life may go up and down, for the mortal world is changeable. The immortal world, however, is changeless, for there is only one love. I build my house on the rock of the immortal world. Today I choose only immortal thoughts. Oh boy, all morning I've been trying to change my thoughts. I extend my perception beyond what my senses perceive to what my heart knows is true. I withdraw my belief that I need anyone or anything to be other than what they are in order for me to be secure. I know that whenever fear expresses itself, love will ultimately prevail. Therefore, I need not fear, nor cry, nor despair, to the extent to which I see what is tr uh, truly true. I see only cause for happiness. Happiness is a choice that I'm going to make today, and I hope that you guys, whatever you're going through, is that you're going to choose happiness for your life today. Choose to think on positive things in your mind. Choose on trying to believe more positively in your mind. I don't rest on my circumstances. If I do, oh boy, I'd be extremely depressed. And I have every right to be. Smile more often, hug more often. Be loving to someone out there today. Smile to someone, be happy to someone. Change the atmosphere, change your atmosphere by pursuing happiness today. It must have been love, but it's over now. Must have been good. But I lost it somehow. I don't know, I lost style and fashion, I guess, because I look like I'm from the 80s today. Actually, this is today's style as well. 80s are back. I have an 80s look. How's everybody doing? Are you happy today? Are you going to choose happiness today? You're gonna try. Kaden, are you gonna choose happiness today? Yes. Good. It smells delightful in here. It smells like cooked cabbage, corned beef and cabbage. Boy, have I been on the run all morning. I've cleaned. Oh, I already told you guys. I already told you all that. First time in six years. Oh, stop it. Are you seriously parking on the side of the road in somebody's yard to, for snow? Are you Wow. We call them flatlanders who aren't living in the snow. They like to come up the hill and park on the side of the road, which is very illegal, especially in somebody's yard, and play in the snow. home I was just going over the surgery I'm having tomorrow which is the ablation uh, what that is is they're going to burn my cervix um, because I have heavy monthly 
womanly problems. And it's so bad that sometimes I want to go to the emergency room because I'm in so much pain. And it's become such a problem and I've been suffering silently for years on years. And so, I, I mean, I think since I was 12 years old. So I'm finally actually getting myself fixed. They're going to be burning my uh, cervix tomorrow, which is called the ablation. Burning. burning. So I have to prepare tonight. I got to not eat after midnight, which is going to be hard because I'm forgetful. Hopefully I won't forget. I'll remind you. You'll be sleeping. You're going to sleep in. I, I'm going to be without coffee tomorrow. You're not going to want to talk to me. No coffee or mushrooms tomorrow. That makes me sad. So that's what tomorrow is going to be is all about my surgery tomorrow and we're getting prepared for that. So, oh, it's cold in here, babe. Do you think you could bring in the heater? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. That what stupid game. What just happened? Current content is currently installing. Please wait. I'm in the middle of a Tomb Raider game and it wants to install because it didn't finish installing. Dumb. Okay, so Tomb Raider has been my ultimate favorite game. Who else has played Tomb Raider? Because it's my favorite game in the whole wide world. I have played it since number one on... The first Xbox, I think. Yeah. Well, speaking of games, I'm still a little bothered that she is still carrying the belt. Oh, yeah. Some bull crap right there. I don't know. We haven't been able to really find a good game. Uh, we don't have any more, like, really good games that are two-player or three-player together. I mean, we'll look some more. we got to get a couple more. Yeah, we got to find some more to have another game night. I know you guys have been missing out on game nights. We will have more of those. Maybe we, we'll rent one. I don't know. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, we could rent one. I don't know. That way, Kaden doesn't Kate, have an advantage. True. Then we <laughs> all need to learn how to play it. But I just now pulled out Tomb Raider... Uh, Tomb Raider, wait, is it, it's called, what's it called again? Um, I don't know. Rise of the Tomb Raider. I haven't yet played it. I bought it over a year ago, and it's just been sitting. And so, we had the Xbox on, because we were watching Thor. Through, Red the Rock! We watched Thor through the Xbox. I'm like, you know what? Since this is on, I might as well pull out my Tomb Raider and try it. And I'm already having anxiety the first thing. I really need to start a gaming channel with this. Whoa, well, hey, you didn't knock out the heater, did you? Okay, you're good. So remember, uh, Mel has surgery tomorrow. I do. I have to uh, not eat after midnight and no coffee and no mushrooms. And her breast's going to stink. <laughs> it already does. Shout out to MJ Music. Your comment was so funny. You mean the with dialogue? The, the, the dialogue the, script the that he book? made with Caden and I about kidnapping grandma absolutely made my day. Thank you, Matthew. You are amazing. I love those comments that bring a happy smile to my face, not a sad. I mean, there are some sad comments, but and I'm okay with that, but I love the happy funny comments, especially the, with the MJ Music's uh, comment. That was amazing, and it made my day, and it uplifted my spirits. I laughed so hard. So thank you for that, so shout out to you. Yes, we love to be happy and hopeful. Happy and hopeful, today I choose happiness. Today I chose happiness, and I've been feeling really good all day. How about you? Well, it all depends what this one piece of hair does. Well, it makes me happy, because it makes me laugh. Looks goofy. But no, to never ever give up on yes. hope. And we want to say hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. You are now part of the Mainville Minion family here on YouTube. Hello, hello, hello to all our new family members. Hey, and if you are new, we would love to say hi to you. So leave a comment down below. Don't forget to see you in a chair. That was a little bit fancy there. Hmm. 
and until tomorrow. <laughs> Love you guys so, so much. Ciao. See ya. <laughs> You're so cute, Kaden. I love you.